we have come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of the Lord Jesus, and their communion in the Spirit be with each of you this morning. Good morning and welcome. As we begin, let us acknowledge our sins and call to mind our need for God's grace working in our lives. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to us now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyrus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were Cypriots, Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When they arrived, they saw the grace of God, and he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people were added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord. Of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They should note, when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I tell you and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Antioch. 
excuse me, Antioch was one of the three great cities on the Mediterranean, <clears throat> along with Alexandria and Rome. And so it was, the people of Antioch, they hear the message, the gospel message, and then the Jerusalem church sends Barnabas to incorporate them into the fold. I suppose, in a sense, we would say to give them envelopes. And gradually then, as they begin to articulate the, 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 the gospel message themselves, they become more and more converted. So much so that people can differentiate with them. They're distinguishable from the pagan cults and from Judaism as well. And so their faith, they're, they're not Jewish Christians. Their faith does not rest on Moses or the temple or the Torah law, but rather the Lord Jesus himself. And the Lord Jesus is the foundation of who they are as well. It was because of terrible persecution that had taken place around Jerusalem that drove people to preach the message to faraway places. And so the circumstances that brought them there was out of their own experience. They gradually begin to see who they are and the church begins to be formed as well. And so in a sense, something terrible kind of uh, uh, happened in Jerusalem with the fierce persecution. But that persecution led to the growth of the church as well. And so it was then that they begin to perceive the Lord Jesus in their own lives. And then they, they accept the good news as well, coming from their own experience and also as well their belief in the Lord Jesus. May we ourselves truly be mindful of the Lord Jesus' presence in our mind, in, in our lives, and truly giving fitting honor and praise by the way in which we live ourselves. With that in mind, let us stand and we will pray. <clears throat> We pray for leaders of the church, that God may guide them in shepherding their people in the spirit of love and compassion. We pray to the Lord. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them wisdom in carefully addressing problems that they face in their communities. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, the homebound, and the lonely, may God bring them comfort, love, and healing. We pray to the Lord. For our faith community of St. Philip Neri, may the Lord in his favor grant us strength in remaining faithful to him, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died in the light of Christ, may they be welcomed into the heavenly banquet, we pray to the Lord. Let us for a moment pray in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord our God, we pray that our relationship with you will continue to grow and to deepen as well. May we truly trust you in all things as you depend on us to make you known better throughout the world. This we pray through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all those who hold to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or the offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty for the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, 
and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Uh, grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, gracious to grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, which on the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. I invite you now to exchange Christ's peace with one another. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of Christ the body 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 of Christ.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Well, we continue to pray for everybody and hopefully this coronavirus will soon leave us. But um, in the meantime, we're mindful of God's goodness. God is faithful and he's always with us. So with that in mind, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia.